delighted to have uh, everyone here, especially my dear friend, Spirit Tree Tom Green, who you'll meet after the conclusion of my lecture, who is a member of the Tribal Council of the Massachusetts Tonka Board. Uh, I also recognize some folks from Sharon, some I've never met before, except for virtually, so I'm delighted to uh, be here. Um, what I'm going to do at the beginning, before my talk, is something important, especially if you have Stoughton Loops. Raise your hand if you have a connection with Stoughton before 1953. All right, if, if you were born before 1953, this may be even more interesting to you. Say, for instance, if you got a uh, pinch for riding your bicycle on the sidewalk by one of our cops when you were 10 years old, and it was in the old Stoughton News Central, guess what? It's now all online. The, uh, I'm on the Library Trustees Committee, and earlier this year we voted to digitize the Stoughton News Central all the way from the 1860. That's a little out of focus. Hang on a second. The library has worked to get these digitized from the microfilm itself. So when you go to the Stoughton Public Library website, if you go to Learn, you can also find a link to our Historical Society website. The Stoughton High School yearbooks, but now the new one, Stoughton Newspapers Digital Library Archive. So the next page you're going to go to is a page that looks like this, and you're going to click away from the Stoughton page. You don't have to sign up or anything like that. Just click here at Stoughton Newspapers Digital Archive, and then you'll get this. By the way, you're leaving one more time, so you just simply proceed to the site. Then you're greeted with this page here. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you, if you want to stop finding every instance of Smith and Thomas, like, here's Smith, here's Thomas, put your search for a name in quotes. So, uh, you can go right in, and you can browse all of these papers if you had a date. So if you have an obituary you're looking for and you didn't want to do a search, the search is fairly good. Uh, you can go in it manually and look for 1860. Uh, three all the way down to 1953. Good news, either uh, the beginning of next year we'll have 1954 to 2004. That should catch mostly everybody in this room. You can find ads. I put in my address on West Street and I found when the farmer was selling a cow, when he was selling a load of manure, when there was a fire in the chimney in my house in 1919. I found obituaries quicker than I ever did cranking through the microphone. I always say microphone made my right arm a lot stronger. Now it's clicking. So this is great. You're going to find a lot of fun things. So in relationship to uh, my conversation today, I'm just doing a search on one of the members of the Pumpa Pump, uh, Jeremiah Bancroft, and I put his name in quotes. I came across two matches, and whoops, a little too far. Um, his name pulls up here. The problem with the OCR, which is Optical Character Recognition, remember, a newspaper isn't across like a book. It's across one column, down another. When the OCR read it, it read it there, to there, to there. So you're reading like partial sentences for each column. So, friends at Jeremiah Bancroft, last chief, 296 Park Street, Thursday evening, anyone who desires to assist George Royce, 20 cents. I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. That's okay, because it's more than just an OCR. You can actually go and click and get the paper. Mm -hmm. You can zoom in on the paper, change it. This is only at 30%. You can download page by page by page. You can also, I'll show you, click over the article. So where's the article in Jeremiah? It actually tells me. It brings me right down to that. Paul Papua gave me Jeremiah Bancroft. It's an article from 1913 that actually wasn't published first in Stoughton. It was in the Boston Herald. So this article here talks about his life and where he is now. Great little piece of genealogical treasure, which we have an old copy of, and I'll show you an image of that with a photo of him uh, shortly. You can go in up here on that search, do the cropping tool, pick what you want, then hit the arrow, and then it will pull up here with your citation, so you don't have to worry about, oh, did I write the page number down in the citation? Automatically does it for you. Then you can either share it with Facebook, share it with Twitter. You can print it off or download it. When you go to download it, it pulls it up just as you clipped it, and you can save it as a JPEG or a TIFF. It's remarkable. 
I, want, I told Chris, who's the library director at the Stone Public Library, I said, thanks a lot for making me lose sleep for two days. He goes, what do you mean? I said, I was up until 2, 3 in the morning and having to go to work after two or three hours of sleep. But I found so many things. And it's not just on my pocket pocket research. It's on research on certain Civil War veterans, different places. I mean, we have... Yeah, like, or a, a speech that Newton Talbot gave at this society in... Uh, uh, May of 1899 that appeared on the front page or on uh, the back page of this newspaper in January of 1899 or in mid-1900. And we don't have a copy of that speech in our society. So it was an invaluable speech to me because it's talking about this road over here that, that I've gotten obsessed by. So we have to go through and actually find some of the things that the newspaper printed that aren't in our files and put them in our files. I can see a volunteer project just going through digital and pulling up all the obituaries and expanding the files that we have done. So there's unlimited ways of doing this.